Alright, this is my how to video on the Samsung Epic 4G. How to install Android 2.2, obviously, with the Hello Kitty there. It's not really my phone, that's my wife's phone. But, let's see. Alright, let's see. What you will need is, of course, Samsung Epic 4G, data cable, you know, you know. Of course, you will also need, um, yeah, I should be looking at the computer. Alright, um, you will need your update file, which you can download from anywhere on the internet. Google is your friend. All right, what you'll need to do is connect said Samsung 4G to the computer. All right, you do that, you go to mass storage. All right, uh, once you go to mass storage, then you go to open folder all right uh, blah, blah, blah. okay then just drag your update file into your phone's SD card make sure it's on the root file do not put inside of another folder or else this will not work all right, let that go ahead and go on. All right, once that is done, just go ahead and close that out. And then you disconnect from your phone. Just dismount, disconnect, wait for the phone to do media scan, wait till it's completed, and turn your phone off. All right, and to note, I am doing this on my phone, which I updated about four hours ago. It's running well, so my wife wanted me to do hers. All right, so then you put it into recovery mode. To do that, you put it, you hold down the down rocker knob, the power button and the camera button all at once with one hand this is going to be a trip let's see what I can do okay apparently that did not work <laughs> Okay, let me try one more time. I'm going to go ahead and pause it and then bring it back. Okay, it's ready for me to try yet again. Let's try it again. Shit. Okay, crap. Let me try it again. Okay, this is like another try. Let me try this one more time. Ah, oh, come, on. come on. This is much easier with like two hands and I am recording this on my phone. So, you know what, I'm going to uh, go ahead and do this. I won't even let it. It should be cool. Okay. Alrighty. So, since I don't have a stand, I'm just going to, like, do this as best as I can.
holding down all three keys. Possibly cannot see that there. There we go. There we are. All right, then you'll come up into recovery mode. You will use your rocker switch to go down to apply SD card update dot zip. Once you get to that, you'll hit home. If you're seeing, if you'll see this screen here, that means you're doing pretty awesome. It's working, it's just working, it's working, it's working. This will take uh, five or so minutes, not too bad. Uh, shoot, I'm already at five minutes now. I might pause it and come back, but it's doing pretty well, and I kind of want that process to be seen for everybody. And to let everybody know, if you do update, if you do update, it won't erase everything that's on your phone because my phone booted back up with the same theme, same apps, same everything. You'll have all your stuff, but as a, as a just in case, I do say maybe back up everything that you have. I do uh, back up my cell back up like every week or so just so I have everything. My wife's phone was stolen once before but we didn't do a backup on her phone like I do mine so she wasn't able to get all her pictures and whatnot so I do I do say backup maybe at least once or so a week maybe every two weeks save some time if something like that does happen God forbid process is almost done let that do that and I do want to note that this update 2.2 of the Samsung Galaxy S phone on Sprint it's kind of cool got some noticeable changes you know some people won't notice some people will you might like it no I do it little change got a little time here almost done probably should have took off the flash because I did turn the light on for a reason okay We are looking at a complete update. The first boot will boot up kind of slowly. You will notice that. It'll take a while. So don't don't get discouraged like, "Oh no, my phone is is it's it's gone. I'm done for." I did get that way, but don't worry. It'll come on. And it will boot up saying that there is no update available. No, no read, no clue on that one. It's probably trying to update it. But of course, you have Android 2.2.1. I will show all that when this is when this comes back on. So while I wait, I'll go ahead and turn the camera off. Okay, we're back. We're back in action here. Tip boot it up everything's still the same but let's see it just notice I'm putting their passcode all out there on the web whatever or as you notice messaging is different probably should have showed that beforehand um damn you will notice the well no focus there Notice the numbering up there at the top for the different home screens. Um, if I come down here, I hit see the six tabs here. You got add, edit. This is not focusing like I would like it to. Checking for, see, there it is. Checking for software update. Please wait. 